In this lecture, we are going to learn about the shared modules. So we learned what is a feature module. Now we will understand what is a shared module. A shared module is that which contains all the components, directives, etc., which is shared between different modules. Let's understand this with an example. Currently in our Angular application, we are getting this error. This import contains error which may affect components that depends on this ng module. And we have that error in the dashboard module. Now why do we have this error is because we are using this loader component, we are declaring this loader component in dashboard module as well as in the app module. So here you can see it says that this loader component is listed in dashboard module as well as this loader component is listed in the app module. So as I mentioned in the last lecture, you can declare components, directives, pipes, etc. only once in one module. Currently what we are doing is we are declaring this loader component in the dashboard module as well as we are declaring it in the app module. And because of that, we have this error. Now, how can we solve this error? Because this loader component we are using in the dashboard component as well as we are also using this loader component in the login component. Now, login component we have declared in the app module. So here we have this login component declared in the app module and dashboard component we have declared in the dashboard module. And in both the modules, we are using this loader component. So if I remove it from here, we will get the error in the dashboard module. So if I save the changes and if we go to our application, we will have an error in our dashboard module. So here it will say that app loader, it is not a known element. Now, if I get it back in the dashboard module, but if I comment it in the app module, so here, and now if we save the changes and if we go to our application, now you will see that we have that error in the login component. So now in the login component, this app loader is unknown element because from the app module, we have removed the loader component. And since the loader component is not available in app module, the login component is declared in the app module. So it is not able to find this app loader and we have this error. So we need to keep this loader component in both the modules because we are using this loader component in both the modules. But when we are declaring it in both the modules, we have another error. And that error is we cannot declare a component twice in two different modules. A component must be declared only once. So how are we going to resolve this problem? For this problem, the solution is we create a shared module. So for that, what I'm going to do is in this app folder, I will create one more file and there I'm going to create a module file. I will simply call it as shared module, but you can name it anything. Okay. And inside this file, we are going to create a shared module. So let's create and export a class from here. I'm simply calling it as shared module. And in order to make this class a module, we need to decorate it with ng module decorator. And to use this ng module, we also need to import it from Angular slash co. Now to this ng module, we need to pass a metadata object. And there, first I'm going to specify the declarations array. And in the declarations array, we can specify all the components, directives, pipes, which we want to share. So here, we want to share this loader component. So I will cut it from here. Or maybe I will simply remove it from here. And let's also remove it from the import statement. Okay, so I have removed it from dashboard module. Let's also go ahead and remove it from app module. And let's also remove the import statement. And now we are going to add it in our shared module. So here I want to use loader component. Okay, and let me also add the export array. And there, let's export this loader component. All right, then what other thing we are sharing? In the dashboard module, we have declared this forms module in the import array. And we are also declaring this forms module in our app module in this import array. So we will also remove this forms module from here and from the dashboard module. And let's go ahead and let's declare it in our shared module. 
so in the import array we are going to declare the forms module and in order to use this forms module we also need to import it from angular slash forms okay let's save the changes and now what we are going to do is we are going to import this shared module in our app module as well as in our dashboard module so let's go to app module first and there in the import array let's add shared module and to use this shared module we also need to import it same thing we are going to do in the dashboard module so in the dashboard module also now we are going to import shared module and if i go to shared module from there we are not exporting this forms module so let's also go ahead and export that as well so these two modules we are exporting from here we are not declaring it in the app module or in the dashboard module so when we have imported this shared module with this shared module we will also get this loader component as well as this forms module and same thing will happen in the dashboard module also so there also since we have imported the shared module with this shared module we will receive this loader component and forms module so let's save the changes now let's go to our application here we are still seeing the error might be because it has not been updated so what we will do is let's stop this server here let me clear everything and let's again run this ng serve command to compile our application and run it in the live development server now you will notice that we have an error for this app snack bar it says error message is not a known property of app snack bar because we have this snack bar component so here if i go to app module there we also have this snack bar component which is being used in the dashboard component okay so what we are going to do is we are also going to remove it from here and we are also going to make it as shared component so we are going to export it from our shared module let's go to shared module.ts and from there let me also declare the snack bar component and let's export it from here now if we save the changes and if we go to our console this ng console again we have the error and this time the error says that the snack bar component is declared by more than one ng module now why is that because if i go back we are not declaring it in the app module you won't see the snack bar component here and we are also not declaring in the dashboard module right but still we have this error that's because we are declaring the shared module twice so we are importing the shared module in the imports array of app module.ts and we are also importing the shared module in the imports array of dashboard module.ts so again the shared module is being used twice first in the dashboard module and then also in the app module so what we are going to do is once we have imported the shared module here from our exports array we will also export that shared module okay and then when we have imported this dashboard module in our app module.ts there here you can see we have imported this dashboard module.ts and when we have imported it from here we are also exporting this shared module so that will automatically be available in our app module so we don't need to declare it here in our app module and we can also remove this import statement from here so now if we save the changes and if i go to angular terminal this angular cli now you will see that everything is built successfully now if we go to our application there also we should not see any error okay now let's also test it by logging in so i'm going to log in using john smith account and when i click on this login button it should take us to the dashboard page as you can see we are in the dashboard page and in the console also we don't have any errors so the very important point you need to remember from this lecture is that you cannot declare components imports pipes directives etc more than once you cannot declare them in two or more different modules they must be declared only once so what we did is 
those components which we want to use in multiple modules for example we want to use this loader component and this snackbar component in the app module because in the app module we have some components like this login component which is going to use those components and we also want to use these two components and this forms module in the dashboard module because in the dashboard module we have some components like this dashboard component which is going to use the snack bar component and the loader component and we have this create task component which is going to use this forms module so we have declared them only once as you can see here we have declared them in the shared module and then we are simply importing this shared module in this dashboard module here and then we are importing this dashboard module in the app module here so when we are importing the dashboard module here at this place we are going to have these components we will have access to these components in the app module we will have access to these core modules in our app module and then we will also have access to this shared module in the app module and when we will have access to the shared module in the app module that means we will have access to this loader component this snack bar component and this forms module in our app module so here the components are declared only once but they are available throughout our application i hope this is clear so this is all from this lecture if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day